Julie Pals, Julie and Julia, the My Year of Cooking Dangerously was made into a hit movie this year starring Meryl Streep and Amy Adams. The book, which was almost as much about her husband Eric as it was about her obsession with cooking every recipe and mastering the art of French cooking, was cited as an example of an almost perfect urban marriage. Julie returns to our show today to talk about what happened to that perfect marriage after her year of cooking dangerously. She calls her new book, Cleaving, a story of marriage, meat, and obsession. It's published by Little Brown. I'm very pleased it has brought Julie Powell back to our show. Hi. Hi. Glad to be here. I understand the the marriage and meat part. What was the obsession? (laughs) Well, there are several involved uh, in the book, but uh, uh, the the main obsession that 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 refers to is a uh, obsession with a man that I had a a two-year affair with that was quite messy, um, and uh, the resulting chaos uh, in my marriage. And that came right after the book was published? Uh, soon after the, yeah, soon after the book, actually before the book was actually published, after the uh, period of the blog. Um, so w- were, you, were you feeling like you were in an uneasy place at that time? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the you know, the effects of, of uh, Julie and Julia, the, the, the project, and then more importantly, the um, the book, the book deal, the, you know, my... Um, ability to quit my job as a government worker, and I, I was working as a writer, I was being hired, I was, had a whole new life, and um, and it did, it had ramifications that I hadn't expected, um, more just in terms of sort of throwing into a new light uh, a marriage that had not grown, whereas both of its participants had, and we'd been together since we were 18. Because people often ask, I know they're asking now, when they look at pictures of Tiger Woods' wife, why did he have to go sure. and, and spoil it all? Well, you know, mm-hmm. Julie... Uh, and Julia is, s- presents such a sweet portrait of a marriage. <laughs> You're a best-selling author. It does sound perfect. It do- well, and, and and it was, and I think, you know, I think that uh, you know nothing that's that's in Julia and Julia, um, the book certainly, and even the movie, even though the movie is a, obviously a sweetened rom-com version, um, was is inauthentic, and everything that Eric was in Julia and Julia. It, uh, is, is absolutely true. Um, I think that cleaving is in part about how even the strongest marriage um, can 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 crumble um, when it isn't changing with the two participants. Um, uh, so I, I wouldn't say that infidelity is a great way to solve marital problems, but it did bring to light uh, ways that we needed to um, to look again at our relationship. And this man you call D throughout the book mm-hmm. uh, is he very different from your husband Eric? <laughs> uh, in almost every way, yes, yes. Did you try to be discreet? You know, I, I I did. I tried. <laughs> I um I was I was, but it but it was an inherently self destructive act. And and you know, participating in this affair, I there was some part of me that wanted to be found out. I think. How long before Eric did find out? Not terribly long. Um, it was a couple of months uh, before before he discovered things. And how did he react? You know, um, he was extraordinarily upset, and I was extraordinarily upset, and. We, you know, we did everything you would think. We cried and fought and sobbed and tried to start trying to figure things out. Um, but we never walked away from one another. Um, and which, you didn't get think of getting divorced? Well, we talked. You know, we talked about it. We you know, s- tortured ourselves over it. Um, but it just, I don't know. I think something between us never broke. Um, and, uh, you know, if one of, or the other of us had stopped feeling the same way that we felt, uh, then we would we would have walked away. But often what happens is when you hit that kind of crisis, mm-hmm. you have to make a decision. You mm-hmm. give up the affair mm-hmm. or you end the marriage. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not what happened here. No. We, we, I, was, I, I, I handled things very messily. Um, I, w- I spent a long period of time when I, could not, I couldn't make that choice and, uh, and didn't make that choice. And that was, that was, um, it was difficult for me, incredibly difficult for Eric, and, and in some ways very selfish um, on my part. But I think that it was also, I mean, in a, in a weird way, um, D came around at the sort of exact right slash wrong time um, and, and, and put this wedge in a, in, into the marriage that probably would have not been torn asunder in the same way, um, but which ultimately needed to be torn asunder so that we could figure out how to put it back together again. Well, the, the biggest crises in Julie and Julia is whether you can get the recipe sure. cooked correctly 
uh, is I, I'm assuming Clipping was a much more difficult book to write. Well, uh, yes, I mean absolutely. It's you know it's a, a much darker, more personal book. Um, but it was it's also you know like the butchering that I do in the book. It, it was the writing as well was a sort of cathartic experience, and it was my way of of sorting through what what happened here. I, you know, and as I was writing the book, I was still reeling from the events, and Eric and I were still trying to figure out what what we were going to do. So um, it was it was very very difficult, but it was also necessary. Uh, but you don't present yourself in a flattering way in this book. <laughs> Not particularly, no.